What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on Pokemon Arcade. Today we're doing something a little bit different and a little bit fun that you've seen before but also haven't. Today we're doing a tier list except I'm not the one doing the tier list. I'm doing it with my wife, Allison. She's here, you've seen her before. As a matter of fact, Allison is actually in the third or fourth most watched video on the channel so you guys better be hyped as heck for this. But what we're doing is we're going to go through all of the Johto Pokemon. We did the Kanto Pokemon the first time and Allison is going to give her feedback on each Pokemon one at a time rank it and then we are going to listen back to a recording that I have done trying to guess what Allison will say if anything and where she will rank them and maybe why I'm also going to kind of keep track of that in editing and maybe give myself a little scorecard right over the recording of me which you guys will be able to see when we're playing it back but without any further ado Allison you got any thoughts before we go into this I know you're kind of yes. looking over the list here I'm looking at this and I will be honest I thought most of these were in one Pokemon. <laughs> so you do know a lot of them, though. I recognize some of them from Pokemon Go. Okay, that's, I, yep, that, that, that's consistent with my thoughts. But that said, I'm going to be driving here, so I'm going to be dealing with the uh, the mouse, and we're going to start off here. Uh, do you want me to tell you their name before you pick them? I or? know this one is a Chikorita. Okay, what? Tell me your, tell me your thoughts. Uh, I love her. A, well, S, best one, whichever one is the best. <laughs> best one. Okay. Anything? Anything? Why? <laughs> She's thoughts? Like uh, and okay. she's a plant, and I love plants. Okay, so as I said before we started, we actually, uh, the first few especially, I kind of went through all of them at once by accident, so go ahead and finish up with, All right. let's number... just do all the starters, I think, okay. and then we'll listen to it. Uh, the next one, I don't know its name. Um, it's going to be an A. I okay. like it. It is bay leaf. Bay leaf. Oh, that's cute. Like mm -hmm. soup. Mm -hmm. um, like soup. <laughs> And I like then it. I like the dinosaur flower. It reminds me of Littlefoot, so mm -hmm. it's gonna be an S tier. Okay. All right. Um, Spiky Boy. Uh, he's real cute, so I'm gonna put him as an A. Okay. This is, by the way, Meganium and Cyndaquil. I didn't put that. Um, I don't like Spiky Otter Boy as much, so I'm gonna put him as an E. Okay. Um, and that one's so angry, but mm -hmm. I also like him. So I'll put him. Okay. Um, and then we got the last three starters. The blue alligator. Mm, he can be a B. He's adorbs, but he's not my favorite like okay. starter ever. Okay. Um, and then the bigger one looks like the dinosaur from um, Rugrats, but blue. Okay. Uh, he'll be a B too. Okay. Uh, I don't. The big one is so scary. Mm -hmm. I put him as a C. Okay. So here's who you got here. You've got Quillava, Typhlosion, Totodile. Typhlosion? Yes. Croconaw and because Feraligator. Because his name is Typhlosion, I'm gonna <laughs> move him to an A. Okay. All right, you ready to see how I did on the yes, starters? let's take a look. All right. First up, we have Chikorita. Looking at Chikorita and the whole Chikorita line of Chikorita, Bayleaf, and Meganium, I'm thinking Allison is gonna say plant. I love plants. I'm putting them in S tier. All three of them, definitely <laughs> yeah, I did all pretty three good of on them that are one. going in S tier. Next up, we've got Cyndaquil. And Cyndaquil is really cute. Cyndaquil is really small, so I think he's, she's going to like him a lot, but he's not related to plants or anything, grass or anything like that at all, which mm -hmm. is Allison's mm -hmm. favorite yep. type. Yeah. So I'm definitely thinking that is going to be probably A tier. Uh -huh. See, I nailed it. I've nailed cute. it so far. Little Although I did have Bailey from Probably but... B tier. Typhlosion? I was, I was right here. Right after that, probably... Probably C. C. I thought I thought you wouldn't like him because he is mean. Next, we've got Totodile. Totodile, while sharp, while an alligator, again, probably also an A tier. Pretty cute. Croconaw. I was off on that could one. Could still be a low A, but I think B because Croconaw is, you know, again, edgy teenager, edgy teenager version. Mm -hmm. Allison's not going to be a big fan. For alligator yep. being pretty large, much nailed it blue, so far. You know, I just. Again, C tier. It's going to be a, a pattern there. I think grass starters definitely win. We'd step down with each mm -hmm. one of the others. It's probably very accurate. There you go. So, so your thoughts on the first nine? How did I do? Well, I mean, obviously I missed Chikorita. a couple, but... Chikorita, you said plant. Yes. <laughs> I did that for all three, if you didn't catch it. I, that's what I was saying. I kind of hit all three of the grass starters in the, the very first sentence, which was, they're plants, they're S tier. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bailey is a, uh, really cute, but mm -hmm. I just have to, that's why she's an A tier, because I have to be just really... Um, you got to be finicky with your S tiers? Yeah. I, I think I may have had really a grand exclusive. total of like six or seven S tiers out of 106 Pokemon. Wow, so. and you put all, put all three... Yeah. 
All right, well, let's move on. Let's to the keep next on section. going. Yep. Yeah. So here we go. Do you, uh, so okay. do you, what do you want me to do? You want to keep giving you names as after you go, or do you want to know I, beforehand? I will name them first. Okay. Um. So Bunny Rabbit. I have seen this one in Pokemon Go. Mm -hmm. It is very annoying in Pokemon Go because mm -hmm. I already have a bunch of them. <laughs> but it is cute, so I'm gonna put it in B. Okay. I love the ferret boy. I'm gonna put him in A. He's okay. adorable. All right, and... let's stop here. Okay. Unless you have more thoughts about him specifically. I just love him. Okay. All right, so this is Centret and Furret. That's their names. Furret. Furret, yes. All right, you ready to see what I had to say about them? Yes. All right, let's go. Next up, we've got Centret, and Centret is kind of like a squirrel foxy, furry looking mm -hmm. thing because it evolves into a furret, right? Um, I think she's going to think it's cute enough. I think she'll like its ears. I think she'll like its tail, but think it's kind of ridiculous because okay. animals don't really stand on their tails like that. So Not I'm going to go B tier. The... B tier. I got it. I nailed it right on the head. I'm doing pretty good so far. But not for Let, the right reason. Let's hear about furret. Next up, we got furret. Now furret is a furret, but furret looks a lot like a dog and Allison doesn't know its name. So I'm going to say it probably A tier. I think she'll yeah. be a good job. It, it just does look like right. a dog. All right, let's walk through the next two. I kind of like this pattern of even if I handled them one by one, uh, kind of going by by species here, like evolutionary Gen line. Generation. So, um, all right, this is a hoot hoot. Okay, you knew its name. Ding, yes. ding, 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 ding. <laughs> this one is also in Pokemon Go. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, all of them are in Pokemon Go now, I think, but. Well, I have it in okay. Pokemon Go. <laughs> that makes sense. It's pretty common. Um, but I don't really care about Hoot. Okay. Um, its eyes are red. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's nocturnal. And it's sleepy. Mm -hmm. but I'm gonna put him in C tier just because. Mm -hmm. Okay. And same with his older buddy. Yeah. Um, just because he looks like just a regular owl who. Really upset. Okay, so you got Hoot Hoot and Noctowl. They're both owls. They are nocturnal because they're owls. Yeah. But okay, let's see how I did. Let's go ahead and play it. Play the video. Next, we got Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot is a uh, you know it's a little owl Pokemon. I think she's gonna not like its feet. They're kind of realistic. They're kind of grabby. I, I went to the Probably wrong part of the be body. A big fan of that, but I think she'll like its glasses. So I'm gonna still give it a B tier. Mm. I was off. Next, I'm gonna go to Noctowl. Noctowl's got a, a weird mono brow looking thing, the weird angry, uh, you know, yep. sharp looking I, feet. I focused on the and feet too much. Facial expression. So I'm gonna probably say C tier. I don't think she'll dislike it. I'm kind of looking at this as, um, you know, love, like, okay. I eh, did say eh, man. Bad. I almost went too fast. All right. So this is a ladybug yep. Pokemon. Um, is the next one related to it? Mm hmm Okay. Yep. You might not have evolved it in Pokemon Go yet. I guess not. I don't have it. Mm -hmm. Um, Ladybug, we'll give it a B. All it's, right. It's cute. It's bubbly. Ladybugs are nice. Mm hmm Um, the next one up looks like it's more bitery. Mm hmm Like, it would fight you if it were a real bug. Yeah. Like a wasp or something. That's probably, that's probably fair. Um, so I'm gonna put him as... Either, let's see, I'll put him as a C, I okay. guess, because he is still, like, cartoony. Yeah, if you got any guesses as to their names, before I before I reveal everything to you, I pull the curtain back on the audience. Ladybug. <laughs> and? Hornet B. <laughs> it's Ladybug and Ledian. All right, here we go. Ladybug. Yes, here we go. Next up, we've got Ladybug, and I think Allison will like Ladybugs okay. I think she'll think it's kind of weird that it's so realistic, but probably solid got B the, tier. Got the tier. Next, we've got Ledian. Now, I like Ledian better than Ladybug because I think Ledian is kind of a knight, flies knight a little bit. I think she might like its shoes, but I'm still going to go... I'm going to go C tier you on nailed Ledian. it. I think Good C -tier. job. There we go. All right, killing it. All right, next up. Here we go. We All got, right. We got some, uh, got some interesting takes coming soon, I'm sure. I... Here we go. So the spiders. Yeah. I have both these spiders in Pokemon Go. <laughs> You're going to hear that a lot. Uh, I need one more Pokemon Go friend also, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you guys, uh, guys want to be friends with Allison, go ahead and drop your friend codes in the comments below. And while you're at it, smash the like button if you're enjoying this video so far. I will send you gifts. Thanks for the plug. <laughs> um... <laughs> 
So I like the bug. Uh, it's real cute, the mm -hmm. little spider. I'm gonna put him as a B because just on a general rule, I don't like spiders, and I added spider traps to our grocery list. You did? <laughs> yes. <laughs> because we've had so many. Yes, I oh. found like two in my office the other day. Oh, interesting. I'll actually break the break the fourth wall for you because it, hopefully it makes you happy. Uh, I did a bunch of cleaning today before we did this video, and I think I vacuumed up six spiders. That does not make me happy. Why are there so I many them. spiders I in our them house? But where did they come from? Because it's it's the season. It's the spring season. Guys. Guys, make sure you check out all the plant traps in your home, the plant traps, the bug traps in your home, catch all of them, and whatever you do, when you kill them all outside on your patio, expect them to run inside. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to it. Back to it. Okay, how um, do you feel about the second spider? I like here? the second spider a lot. Mm -hmm. I like its colors. Okay. It's really pretty. Um, I'll put him in B also. Okay, so do you have any guesses to their names before I reveal those? Spidey boy. And... <laughs> and I, I can see where you're going with this. <laughs> Spidey. <man. laughs> it's Spinarak and Ariados. I was never going to guess Ariados. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see what I had to say uh, about it. Next up, we've got Spinarak. Well, Spinarak is a spider. So immediately, I was way off. D tier. D tier. I thought you'd hate it. D tier. It. Ariados, same thing. D tier. That's all I had to say about that. I thought, you, wrong. I thought you'd be like, I hate spiders. They're going away. <laughs> Absolutely bad. Because like I said, like I said, my, my ranking for this was, you know, S is, oh yeah, I love it. Amazing. Mm -hmm. A is pretty good. B is good. C is, eh, and then D was bad. <laughs> and so yeah. we'll see. Um, I, I, I did kind of think, and I, I think I mentioned this later in my alone section of the video that I, I might have given too many Ds. Because oh, you gave a lot of D's. Not, not a lot, but towards the end, I was like, you know, Allison might be like, I don't want to be mean to any Pokemon. Yeah. So I, we'll see. I don't want to be mean to We'll see to what happens. Pokemon. All right. This next one is up by himself, if you can't tell from their order. Yeah, that's so, a bat. Yes. And bats cause the coronavirus. Oh, no. I didn't expect this to happen. Demonetized on YouTube. Uh, so D. Okay. Next, we got Crobat. Crobat is kind of a cool, sleek looking Pokemon, which isn't really going to appeal to Allison's aesthetic, so I'm going to say C tier. C tier for Crobat. I was off. You don't think I have a cool, sleek aesthetic? No, I think that you, when you choose Pokemon, would not be into cool, sleek aesthetic. You were looking for cute, you're looking for plant, you're looking for colorful. The only thing this Crobat had going for him is that he's got, for you, to me, is that he's purple. I do love purple. Yeah. So let's go. Let's keep going. Okay. So this is a. Baby. By the way, his name is Crobat. Sorry, I forgot. I to did say that. catch that. He is the third form of Zubat and Golbat. There's another one. I do not have that in Pokemon Go. I believe he takes like a stone or something in Pokemon mm. Go, even though he doesn't in in the game. Just like that sunflower down there. I see you. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. baby anglerfish is so cute. Mm -hmm. Um. So S tier. Okay. Big yep. anglerfish, That's not what I thought. so cute. So C tier. This is not going the way I expected. All right. Uh, got name guesses? Got name guesses. This is a good where we've got we've got ranking and reasoning, name guesses, name reveal. My my. There's thoughts. a lot going on. Yeah, there's in a lot of video. pieces to this video. So what? Do, okay, so name guesses. Give them to me. Um, or are you just going with baby anglerfish and big anglerfish? I'm gonna go with. Anglicure and Anglerberg. <laughs> this is Chinchow and Lantern. Nailed it. Here we go. And next we got Chinchow. I think she's going to think Chinchow is kind of cute. I think she's going to be a fan of it. So I'm going to say B tier. And next after that, we've got the, of course, I was thinking, like, I was Pokemon thinking strong Lantern. B. Also pretty cute. I'm going to go B tier. <laughs> So that that was my thought. I mean, oh no, oh no, is, I went too far. He is super cute, mm -hmm. but I, I thought you would think he was cute. I thought you'd so think Lantern adorable, was cute. But also but. anglerfish are real creepy <laughs> and weird. That's fair. That's fair. All right, let's go up. Let's number. Let's go. You know what? Let's go ahead and do the next f three together. I think. I know okay. they're not they're not related, but they do have something in common, and I'm going to ask you what that is after you go through that. Okay. Um. Well, one is a knockoff Pikachu. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is lame. Uh-huh. Uh, so we're just gonna put that. And also it doesn't evolve, which is a big bummer in Pokemon Go. So I don't even try to catch him. So I'm gonna put him in D tier. Okay. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Um, the little poofy cotton candy one, I also don't like it in Pokemon Go, but it is real adorable. So I'll put it in D tier. Which one is cotton candy? <laughs> This the, one? The one with the things. This oh. is cotton candy? Yes. Okay. This one is a baby Jigglypuff who I love. Okay. Um, 
I'm gonna put him in S tier. Okay, that was unexpected, but I did get something. Okay, so give me name guesses, and then I'm gonna ask you my question. Um, Jiggly. Nope. Jiggly Puff. Mm -mm. Jiggly Poof. Nope. Iggly Buff. <laughs> Wiggly Tough is the third is the evolved form of Jiggly Puff. So, okay, give me the other two. Uh, Clefairy. That's what it evolves to. Clefairy. No, well, Clefairy is the evolved form. Clefairy. <laughs> it's Clefa. Clefa. Oh, that's a cute name. Clefa, Clefairy, and Clefable. All right, and the last one. He got you. <laughs> uh, no, it's Pichu, and I did not see the D tier coming because it it does evolve into Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a Pikachu. It's actually, it is technically the first Pikachu clone, which they have in every game, but it's not a clone. It's baby Pikachu. I think it looks terrifying. <laughs> so, uh, what, you got any guesses to how they're all related now that I've given you all that information? They're all babies of... Of first generation Pokemon. Yep. You have baby Jigglypuff, baby Clefairy, baby Pikachu. There's a couple more of these in here, but they're out of order. But let's go ahead and see what I had to say about these. After that, we've got Pichu. I think she'll like Pichu okay. See, I it's thought you mascot, know it was so related to Pichu. Downgrade it, even if she okay. really likes it, just because it's overplayed. So I'm so going to go I, B. I guess B, I was way off. Cleffa. Cleffa, I'm going to say... Oh, it's tough, because it's cute. Just because it's tier. cute doesn't mean Jiggly I buff. like it. I think Allison Wait, really likes Jigglypuff. So I'm going to say Allison really likes Jigglypuff. B tier is what I guessed. Oh, no! I went too far! Togepi! I actually know Togepi because when I was seven years old, I watched some of the cartoons. To be fair, they don't know that I just said Togepi. Other than the fact that I said I went too far. We just went into the Togepi section, but that'll come after this. But do these next two, Allison. Let's okay, go. Togepi. Let's go. Uh, Doing bad Misty so far. has a Togepi, mm -hmm. and I like it, so S tier. Okay. Um, Angel Togepi, also good. A tier. All right. Okay, so this is Togepi and Togetic. Okay. Here we go. Togepi, she's gonna know Togepi. She's gonna think Togepi's not a Gen 2 Pokemon. <laughs> she's gonna think it's cute, it's an egg, it's got a good facial expression. I'm gonna go B for Togepi. I, I went B on a lot. Because on Togetic, I'm gonna say A. I think she's gonna think Togetic is a great improvement. You How thought is a good, it an uh, improvement? Body structure, cute design, everything like that. So A for I Togetic. I thought you think he was an improvement because like, you know, he's got a neck now, he's got wings. No, he's good to go. Bubbles are good. Okay, okay, bubbles are good. I was wrong. I got the ranking right, but the reasoning wrong and the order wrong. And you know, the sad thing is, is we're not keeping track of this as we go. So I'm, we're not going to know the score in the video. Oh no. I'm, at, the, at the end, let's just do um, how you think I did based on what you remember as we go through okay. it. That seems good, right? Yeah. All right. Let's go up to the next two. Let's keep okay, going. Okay. Um, so this Here little nano bird, um, yep. is that what it's called? Mm -mm. Is it something like that? Yeah, we'll just go through them first. Okay. <laughs> names, uh, names are the second he's portion. He's a bubbly little bird. Yeah. Um, some of them in the A tier. Okay. I've never seen this thing. Mm -hmm. uh, why does it look humanoid? <laughs> it's like, I don't like it at all. The okay. D tier. All right. This is not, okay. Here. We, uh, name guesses, name guesses. Nano bird. Okay, this is Natu and Zatu. Here we go. Next is Natu. I don't think she's going to like Natu. Yep. I think she's going to think Natu is okay. weird. Again, overly birdie with its bird-like feet. So I'm going to say... Focused on the feet too much. Too real. C tier for Natu. Zatu, Killed I'm going to say C. Has a chance to be a D, but I'm going to say C because it's just an angrier, weirder version of Natu. So, I would, you know, I was thinking humanoid. I didn't say humanoid, but I was thinking humanoid. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm, so that's mm -hmm, that. And, you know, mm -hmm. this next one, I think I'm, I'm just going to go out and say I think I messed up because I forgot about this. Um, this you know what? Well, you, you go ahead and you talk about them, and I'm going to grab grab the painting. Okay. Yeah, you go ahead and keep going on that. Well, this is a electric sheep. And there are a lot of them in Pokemon Go right now, if you are playing on this day. Um, I like him a lot. I'm gonna put him in the nest tier because he's so cute. And I right. worked really hard to get the pink version, mm -hmm. cotton candy sheep. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got so many of those little electric sheep, mm -hmm. but then the cotton candy sheep looked different and then it evolved <laughs> into the yellow one and it didn't make any sense and uh -huh. that was upsetting. Hmm. Uh, so the yellow one's going in a D tier because that was like so confusing. And then okay. uh, cotton candy one's going in an A tier because I like it. All right, all right. 
So name guesses, name guesses. Mm. What you got? What you got for me? I mean, I feel like I knew them at one point. The the yellow one is um. Hmm, hmm, hmm. An right. L. It's an L it's, name. Mm-mm. No. It's Mary, Blaffy, and Ampharos. And so, uh, real quick, let's just go through what I was saying here. Next up is Mareep, which is fluffy. Instant A tier. Yep. After that is... off, but is, you like it? Um, oh, Flaffy. Flaffy's its name. There you go. I Flaffy's forgot its name, too. So I hope you feel better about that. Probably B tier for Flaffy. And I was probably I was, C tier for Amp. I was off on Because I think that she is going to... Did bad job. Be less of a fan of them. I, th- I, th- I think that they're going to kind of get less cute as they go on. Oh, so do. so here's my thought of why I thought you might like it more because Allison got me this for our anniversary and as you can see there's an Ampharos in it. Yeah, but I didn't do my favorite Pokemon. I yeah, but I thought I thought you'd be like, I like it because it makes me think of my anniversary present to you. But nope. So I, I was right that you didn't like it very much, but I was off a tear on every one of them. So that said, let's keep going. You know how we thought this video would be 20 to 30 minutes? We're yeah. 20 minutes in already. Right? Yeah, that does not surprise me in the slightest. Let's see okay. how we're doing here. This is going to be a long video to edit. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's All okay. Right, um, Hawaiian flower. That's an S tier. It's okay. an adorable plant. Oh, so cute. Okay. Next, we've got Blossom, which is a plant with a dress. We forgot about names, but it's Blossom. S tier. It's a plant and a dress. Easy. S tier, yeah. This is, um, you know, you know Oddish Gloom and Vile Plume? Blueberry. Gloom and vile. Oh yes, the blueberries. Yes. This is the alternate final form of blueberry. What? When you have a gloom, you can either give it a leaf stone and evolve it into a vile plume, or a sunstone and it becomes a blossom. Well, that's way better. So let's go to the next two. All right. Let's keep going. Um, bouncy mouse. Mm-hmm. And it's really cute. It's mm-hmm. ball-like. Um, but they're not my favorite in Pokemon Go. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm gonna put him in A tier. Okay. Um, and I like his little buddy. He looks kind of like an Easter egg. Mm-hmm. Um, B tier. Name guesses? Azul. So which one? The little one. Okay, and the big one? Azul too. Uh, they have a baby from a different generation. Not a baby, but like a baby form from a later generation named uh, Azuril. The middle one... This one, which is currently the baby one, is called Meryl. And this one is Azumarill. Meryl. All right, here we go. After that, we've got Meryl. Meryl is a pretty decent looking Pokemon. <laughs> it's a cute little mouse. I'm going to say B tier. I thought probably. B. Maybe A. But maybe A. I'm going to go with B is my definitive answer. Yeah. So, And then we have Azumarill. I'm awful, which is a lot. <laughs> similar in the vein, obviously. It's an evolution. I think she'll like its ears. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go B tier, though. Still solid B. So... Got that one. All right, let's keep going. All right, Next one. Um, I do not like this stick. It scares me. Uh, D. Okay. Uh, do you know its name? Nope. Okay. It's Pseudo Wudo. It's a rock that pretends to be a tree. Mm, so I Pseudo was Wudo right to be Pseudo Wudo is scared. a plant, but it's a tree. So I don't know how she's going to feel about that. I think she might think it's weird. So I'm going to say C tier. Um, maybe a B tier, but C tier is right. my answer. Next up. I have never seen this frog, and I love him. <laughs> S. Okay, I didn't think S. Okay, do you want to? Uh, you have a name guess? It only has one little hair. <laughs> it's an antenna. Why. <laughs> what do you? What do you? Uh, what do you think his name is? Mm, Swirly Tum. It's Polytoad. Uh, do you know Poliwag, Poliwhirl, and Poliwrath? Yeah. This is an alternate third evolution, Polytoad. Yeah. That's can, amazing. Can, I want him. You can get it in Pokemon Go. Okay, that's it's, my next the, These are the alternate evolutions, the branched evolutions as they call them for Generation 2. Okay. So let's, let's see what I had to say about Polytoad. After that, we've got Polytoad, cute C-tier. frog. No, I'm sorry. There's anything that, that was for like about it. I'm going to say B tier. I think a lot of Allison's Pokemon are going to be B tier. I thought you'd think he was cute, but not love him. So I put him in B. Turns out it was an S. So mm. let's keep going. Let's well, go it's probably... next three all together. Okay. Um, oh yes, I have seen these things. Yep. Um, You've probably seen them a lot. Hippity happity swirly twirly top. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go with A tier. Oh yeah, you've seen them in motion. Yeah. Right. Um, floopity flappity flower lily pad, <laughs> also A tier. Okay. Um, bubbly boy is also A tier. Okay. Is that your name guesses? Mm-hmm. Okay, you've got hop it, skip bloom, and jump pluff. I was right on the money with this. Let's see how. Next up, we've got Hopip. Hopip is a plant. Um, Hopip is a weird thing. I don't know if she'll recognize it as a plant, so I'm going to say B. 
And then we have um, Skip Loom, which I think she's going to recognize as a plant and like better. So I'm going to say A. And then we have Jump Pluff. If I remember correctly, Allison doesn't like dandelions. I could be way off base on that. But for that reason, I'm still going to say Is that true? A tier. A tier plant. No. <laughs> know where you got that okay so i made that up okay so you yeah you got you got him i was mm -hmm. but we, we did okay all right let's do the next one uh i know this monkey it yep. was in detective pikachu and it, it is was, it's uh, terrifying in detective yeah. pikachu it yeah, was, it really it was is. real yeah. bad yeah. so d tier <laughs> okay uh it, name gus i forget i feel like you can call him monkey hand <laughs> uh his name is a palm let's see what next we've got a palm it's gonna be a weird thing with its Didn't tail. I'm gonna say Detective C -tier. Pikachu at the right. time, but you know, okay. All right, let's do the next two. Sun cursed. <laughs> no, no, not quite. Sun shine, sun bloom, sun seed. <laughs> it's sun kern and sun flora. I was so close. All right, tell me about them. Uh, tell me S about them. What you think? S tier and S tier. Yes. They're uh, plants. Sunflowers are my favorite plant. Uh, we had them in our wedding. I. Let's see what I have to say. We got Sunkern. I think she's gonna think it's weird that it's a uh, a plant with a face on a seed. So I'm gonna go B. I underestimated. And then we got that. Sunflora. I'm gonna say Sunflora is probably an A because it's a flower. I think Allison's gonna like it a lot. She was off like on that too. But sunflowers were at our wedding. Fun facts. Fun facts. <laughs> I mentioned it though. I knew. I you know. I I'm not that husband that forgot what flowers we had at our wedding. So I mean, there you go. All right, let's do the next one. Tell me about him. Uh, dragonfly, very hard to catch in Pokemon Go. So just like <laughs> C tier. I okay. do not like these Yanzies. Yanma. Here we go. Next, you've got Yanma. Yanma is just the dragonfly. I don't think she's going to be too into it. But because of Animal Crossing right now, I'm going to say B. I thought you'd like it because it's a bug and we're catching a lot of bugs in Animal Crossing. We are, we are. I Dragonflies didn't... are hard to catch in Animal Crossing too. That's true. All right, let's do the next two. Keep me going. So, Wooper and... Uh... <laughs> You just pulled that out. You just knew who he was. I can't believe you knew Whooper of all Pokemon. You knew Whoop. Okay. Okay. That was just a guess. <laughs> That's his name. That's amazing. <laughs> you tell me I could have gotten these all right. <laughs> all right. Whooper uh, B. Okay. He looks like he has like a coral face. Mm -hmm. So it's like watery. Mm -hmm. um, Womper? The quagsire. What? <laughs> so uh, they're they're water ground, and quagsire. a quagmire is like a rocky hole. I don't know why it's sire, but yeah, they're water ground Pokemon. Where you want to put uh, him? Put him as C. Because his name's stupid. <laughs> All right, let's see what I had to say about these two. Then we've got Wooper. I think she's going to be surprised. I think she's going to compare it to Sobble. Yeah, but I, I, I'm going to go C. I'm going to go C. I don't think she's going to like it. I was off. She's going to dislike it. I'm missing a lot. And then we've got Quagsire, which is I just think you derp. just like I'm moved say C -tier. everything down a tier. Oh, keep on going. All right. Um, These are Eeveelutions. Whoa. Did you see me use that jargon? I see you. I see you. Yeah, go ahead and tell me about them. Tell me where to put them. Uh, tell me why. One's tell a me psychic up. type. Uh -huh. And one is a dark But which type. one's which? The purple one is a psychic yeah. type. And the black one is a by, dark by type. By elimination, yes. Yes. Um, All right. um, I love the purple one, yep. so S tier. Oh, okay. Um, The black one's real cool too, so A tier. Okay. Got their names? Um, You just heard one by accident. Yeah, I and I've already game. forgotten it. All right. It's, it's a... S beyond. Yes. And... Umbreon. All right, let's hear what I had to say. Uh, Espeon is a cat. I think Espeon's she's going to think it's pretty, but it's a cat, so she's probably going to go B tier on it because it's not a dog. I mean, that's fair. I thought about it. Then we've got it. Umbreon, right. which looks more uh, like a dog, so I think she'll go B tier on that. I might have said B on both of those. I was wrong. You're just a little bit more mean to them than I am. Being. I might correct myself. Yeah, I thought I said B on both, and I thought B was... I thought... uh. uh not important, not important. All right. <laughs> Roast me for that later. All right, um, let's keep going. Murkrow. Yep. Mm, That's I its hate name. Him. D. Okay. Let's see what I had what we got here. Then we've got Murkrow. Murkrow is a pain in the butt in Pokemon Go, so she's definitely going D tier you on Murkrow. You nailed that. That was exactly I got one right. right. I got one right. I got one right. Yeah. All right, here we go. 
right, this is Slow King. Yes. Mm-hmm. And? I like him, okay. I, but, like, mm, he's not, like, fancy or anything, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna put him as C tier. All right. See what I had to say about that one. Slow King is interesting. Uh, I think she likes his hat, so I'm gonna say B tier on Slow King. I think B tier is a good way to go. Do you like his hat? Was I right about you liking his hat? It's okay. All right. All right. Um, I've seen this one. It's a ghosty type. Mm -hmm. Um, it's in Pokemon Go. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it as C. I don't know. It's mischievous. Let's see what I had to say. Right. Mischievous is a cute little ghost. It's a floaty ghost. For some reason, I feel like I remember her liking it a lot. So I'm gonna say A. Do you like it? I think so. All right. Let's go for the next one. I have never seen this thing in my entire <laughs> life. Okay. Um, it looks like a hieroglyphic. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna call it, um, question phase. Okay. And it will be a D tier. Okay. Uh, it's called unknown. And they are letters of the alphabet. Yep. You mind coming back this way for, I realized we were not that far. We're showing the lamp like the whole time. So it's like super blown out. Hmm. <laughs> All right, let's see what I had to say about Unknown. Oh, unknown, weird, don't think she's going to like it. It's too human. I'm going to go D. Yeah. All right, next yeah. one. Next one. Um, oh. This is a wallop. Um, so wa waddle, waffle. <laughs> don't worry about the names. You okay. worry about the names too soon. All right, B, no, C, C. Okay, uh, his name's Wobbuffet. Mm. Wobbuffet. Uh, I think she's going to remember it from Team Rocket. Mm -hmm. I don't think Why, I she's going to feel strongly it. about it. I'm saying C tier. Got that one right. Yeah. Next one. Let's go. All right. Giraffe. Uh, A tier. All right. What's his name? Mm, Giraffe. Giraffe rig. You were close. Here we go. Giraffe rig is cute because it's a giraffe. It's got great coloring. Nailed um, it. Its tail's a little bit weird. I think she might feel a little bit weird about that, but I think yeah, she's going to like its color. She's going to like its shape. Going to like its, its tail. Animal. Let's go C tier. I'm sorry, B tier. E. B tier on giraffe rig. I was on. Um, Let's pine, go to the next two. Pinecone man. Uh huh. Mm, C. Okay. And shell face with glasses. D. <laughs> All right, got your name guesses? Yep. Those were them. Uh, it's Pineco and Fortress. Here we go. B tier on giraffe rig. I corrected myself. Pine we, cone, ju we just heard that. I think she's going to find it. weird because it's a pine cone, but because it's a plant, I'm going B. Yeah, that's wrong. And then Fortress is, you know, okay. steel type. I, I think she's going to be, be in about it, so I'm saying C tier. She's not going to love its design. She's, it's a rock. She's not going to love its face. Not going to love anything like that. C tier for sure. No. That was off. All right. Next one. Uh, wa Wobble. Waddle. Waffle. Stop mm. focusing on the name first. Oh, okay. You're doing it's my a order. D. Don't like it. Okay. It's Dunsparce. All right, here we go. Next, we've got Dunsparce. Dunsparce is a weird Pokemon. I don't think she's going to dislike it, though. I think she's going to be confused about what it is, just like I am, and go C tier. Nope. So, um, let's go ahead, and uh, we've done a bad job with this so far. But for you guys' sake, we'll listen to the video, then we'll respond to the video. Because <laughs> I'm thinking about editing, and I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> That's going to be tough. All right, so let's do this one. I hate it. You hate it? Yeah. Okay, tell me why. And where? I really don't like anything about it. Okay. D tier. Okay. Name? Ugly boy. Gligar. Next, we've got Gligar. I think she's going to feel indifferent about it as well and go C tier. Strong feelings about Strong it. Strong negative <laughs> feelings about it. I was wrong. All right, let's go. Let's get to the um, next one. Rock boy. Yeah. Um, S tier. Interesting. <laughs> Do you know what he is? Who he is? What's it's a rock. His, what's his name? <laughs> Bless I should have brought some water in here. Um, I don't know his name. Steelix. Mm. He's the evolved form of Onyx. Next, we've got Steelix, which I believe Allison has a shiny of, so I think she's going to like it. I'm going to put it in A tier. I think she's going to like it a lot because it's got a gold shiny, and I think she's got one in Pokemon. I was Go. wrong. I was wrong, but we, we worked it out. I was right about you liking it. You need a timeout. All right, let's go ahead and go into the next one, Allison. What do you think? Um, this little grumpy man is my dad's favorite Pokemon. <laughs> I forgot about that. So I'm gonna put him as B tier. Okay. 
And then the big version of it uh, frightens me, so D tier. Okay, didn't see this coming. Uh, name guesses? Ruffles. Uh, it's Snubble and, uh, I've forgotten his name, Granbull. So let's, uh, let's see what I had to say about this. Next you've got Snubble. Snubble is a technically a dog, so I'm gonna go A tier because it's a dog. Even though it's mean looking, it's a dog, she's gonna like it. Same thing with Granbull, I think she's gonna like it because it's a purple dog. Purple's our favorite color, and it's a dog. I was wrong though. Quip Did you say it's our favorite color? Yeah. It's cute. Uh, let's see, yeah, okay. I didn't. I didn't see you being scared of Grand Bull, but they're both bulldogs, is what they're yeah. supposed to be. Yeah. I mean, I I see that. This is the French bulldog, and this is the American bulldog. He just looks real rough. Yeah. Well, he's a dog. Rough, rough. <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right, all right. Next one. Um, this is a low fish, puffer mm -hmm. fish. Um, mm -hmm. Here we go. Quillfish is going to be weird because it's a spiky, angry fish. Um, I'm going to go D. Oh. I'm going to go D. I don't think she's going to like it. It looks angry. It looks like it's going to hurt you. She doesn't care for fish, really. I'm going D. When I say you don't care for fish, what I mean is you don't like like the way fish look. I know you like sushi and you like eating fish. <laughs> but if anything, that's a disdain for fish, not a love for fish. Some fish are pretty. We went to the aquarium and I like the fish. <laughs> that's fair. Okay, let's, let's go for the next one. Um, ooh, I like this one. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I have him, and I, I was so proud because I had to use my steel canister in Pokemon Go to mm -hmm. make him. Um, so A tier. What's his name? Don't know. <laughs> Scizor. He, he evolves from Scyther, and it's a metal coat. The, my the steel, steel can canister. Uh, next up is Scizor, which is a really cool Pokemon to me, but you know, it's red, it's an off-putting color, it's a bug, it's got sharp fangs and everything, or not fangs, uh, sharp claws. I'm going C. I think she's going to be mad. I was way off. Yeah. You like him. I, I thought you wouldn't like him. So I know this little turtle man uh -huh. doesn't do much mm -hmm. from you and Cameron talking about it, mm -hmm. um, but it is really cute and it reminds me of Horton. Here's the who when he, <laughs> in the one where He's Horton stacks all mm -hmm. the turtles on top of each other. Okay. So I'm gonna put him on B. Okay. What's his name? Rinky Dink. Shuckle. Next up is Shuckle, which I think Allison will think is really cute. I think she'll like its shell. I think she'll, you don't want to keep one as a pet. Let's go B tier. I was B -tier close. for Shuckle. Mm, I knew you were exactly uh, right. Yep. You said B tier. Yep. All right, next up, we uh, get this, this one. This looks like a beetle mixed with a robot. Mm -hmm. um, so C tier, I guess. Okay, let's go ahead and do the next one too. I could go ahead and put it in D tier, but I'm gonna put keep it in C tier. Okay. Um, this thing is uh, a sneaky feather man, mm -hmm. and I'm going to say it's in C tier also. Okay. Name guesses. The the one that's more humanoid. And it has the feathers. I think that one starts with an S. Sneasel. Sneasel. It even sounds like. Mm -hmm. What sneaky. about this one? Uh, dung beetle. <laughs> Heracross. All right, let's go with Heracross first. Heracross is kind of a kind of a weird looking bug. Like if I was a bug, I feel like I'd be a Heracross. You know, kind of like that's the face he makes. So I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go B. B for Heracross. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> you feel like that's what you'd look like if you were a bug? Uh -huh. <laughs> Big ol' horn. All right, let's... Sneasel <laughs> is one of those that I think she's gonna like its feathers. I'm going B. The feathers are what she's gonna focus on. I'm going B for sure. Definitely. I was way off. Swiper, no swiping. You didn't like it. Um, All right, let's go for the next two. Teddy let's do it. is my current buddy. Okay, in, good to know. In Pokemon Go. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put him in A. Okay, and the next one? Uh, that's his big boy form. I'm gonna put him in C because he is a little bit rough. Okay, and their names? Teddy and Tenzula. Teddy Ursa and Ursaring. Yep, that's what I said. All right, here we go. Next up is Teddy Ursa. It's cute, Teddy Bear. B. B. <laughs> then Ursa Ring, angrier teddy, teddy bear, C. I mean, I was close. Yeah. I just underestimated how cute you thought Teddy Ursa was. Well, it's All because right. he's my current buddy. Mm -hmm. Buddies get you a, a lot, yeah. Um, Let's go. Lava face, um, B. Okay. Lava snail, C. Okay. And why? 
Um, because that's what I decided. Okay, and uh, what are their names? Uh, Magma. For both of them? <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, Slugma and Magcargo. <laughs> Magcargo fast. After that, we've got Slugma, a weird pile of goop, go and see. Magcargo, also see. Magcargo. Okay. That was close. That's yeah, so it's funny. a because he's a snail, so he's in my cargo fast. Um, <laughs> so this little guy, I don't even know what to call him, mm -hmm. but I love him intensely. Mm -hmm. So S tier. Okay. And his it brethren mm -hmm. is an A tier. Okay. And why? Um, because they're so cute. Okay. And, and I like what they evolve into mm -hmm. later. Do you have any idea what what they are? What it's their names are? Piggly Wiggly. Okay, and? Tusk. <laughs> These are nicknames for them, <laughs> not names. Uh, it's Swinub and Pillow Swine. They're pigs. They're hairy pigs. All right, let's hear. After that, we've got Swinub. Allison really likes her mammoth swine. She thinks Swinub is cute, so I'm giving Swinub an A tier. And then we've got Pillow Swine. I think I'm giving him B. I think she's gonna think he gets less cute, wish he stayed cute, and go and B. You had the reasoning correct. You just yeah. were one down. Yep. All right, the next one. It's a coral reef. Mm-hmm. A. And uh, what does what, what it look like? A pig. This? Looks like a pig? Mixed with a coral reef. What's his name? Coral. <laughs> Corsola. All right, let's hear this. Then we've got Corsola, which is made up of coral. I think she's going to be a big fan of the coral. I think she's going to like its coloring. I think she's going to just like its overall demeanor. A tier. Nailed it. Nailed, Nailed it. it. All right, the next two. Um, This one is like um, a glub glub fish, mm -hmm. and I don't like it. Okay. Uh, C tier. All right. And I love the octopus A tier. Okay. And uh, why? what's the, the thought process for the octopus? You just like him because he's an octopus? Yeah, and it's nice colors and it's, it's All right. cute. All right, what are, your, uh, what are your name guesses? The one is like a gargoyle, mm -hmm. the first one. It's something like gargoyle. And then the octopus, I can't remember. I can't remember his real name because you said that and it was off. <laughs> uh, it's Rimmerade. <laughs> What? It's Rimmerade. For the first one? Uh-huh. That's and, nothing like Gargoyle. And, and Octillery. <laughs> All right, here we go. Rimmerade is going to be a weird fish for her. I don't know that she's going to love it. I'm going to go see. Meh. Nailed. Then we've got Octillery, which is an octopus. She thinks octopi are cool, so I'm going to go with B. I think it'll just be like, it's cool, it's intelligent. You know, it's kind of weird that it comes from a fish, but I'll go B. Close. All right, close. All right, the next one. Mm -hmm. Let's go for the next three actually okay. this holiday bird reminds me of the advertisement for the puka thing on okay. hulu which terrifies me okay so d oh no all right um i love the stingray it's adorable s tier okay um i've never seen this bird before so c all right uh, give me some name recommendations here. What, what, are you, what do you think they're named? Uh, I think this one named uh, Christmas Bird, and I think the Stingray is named uh, Manta Ray, and I think this bird, I have no idea because I've never seen it before. Uh, it's Deli Bird, Mantine, and Skarmory. All right, let's go into what I had to say about these. Uh, then we've got Deli Bird, and Allison loves Christmas, so I'm actually gonna go out on a limb and say this is S tier. Don't know Whoa. that that's right. Probably gonna be lower than that, but she loves Christmas, and if she makes the connection, I think it's gonna be S tier. I remembered it was a Christmas bird. <laughs> but you didn't care that it was a Christmas bird. I was way off. All because right. Because it looks like a monstrosity. <laughs> All right, let's see what you had to say about Mantine. Then we've got Mantine. Mantine is a cool looking big fish flying Pokemon. I, she was really excited about it in Pokemon Go, so I'm gonna say B, maybe A, but I'm going B for this answer. Oh, it's precious. I, I I was right about you liking it, but again, it's it's a tough game. All right, Skarmory. Next up, lost my place. We've got Skarmory, big metal bird. Mm, it's cool. It's not off-putting. It's got decent coloring. I'm I'm gonna go with the B, knowing it might be a C, but I'm gonna go with the B. You gave it your best try. I did. All right, let's go for the next two. All right, Hound Dog, and Hound Hell Dog. 
<laughs> okay. Hound dog and hell dog. Okay. Um, oh. Well, they're dogs, so A. Uh, it's hound hour and hound doom. Uh, they would protect me. All right, let's see what I had to say. Then we've got hound hour. Hound hour is a dog. A tier. Definitely A tier. Actually, you know what? Hound hour, S tier. Hound hour, S tier. <laughs> Next, we've got hound doom. Angrier looking dog. A tier. Think she's gonna be off put by it not still being cute and go a tier dang yeah. i had it i had him in the bag never second guess uh, all right all right do the next one by itself um this one is a um where are those things called seahorse mm -hmm. mm, i'm gonna call it a sea king and it's gonna be a b tier sea king is a pokemon it's not this pokemon this is kingdra <laughs> the final evolution of Horsey, the seahorse Pokemon. Yes. Let's see what I had to say about it. Then we've got Kingdra, which is just a great Pokemon. I can't imagine anyone not liking it, so I'm putting it in A tier. I think she'll like its design. I think she'll like that it's a seahorse. She'll know where it came from with Horsey, most likely. I'm gonna go A tier. All right, the next two, I'm excited. Okay, so this is my favorite Pokemon in this group. Um, I don't even know all the Pokemon in this group, mm -hmm. but I know this one is my favorite. <laughs> it's a Fampy, right? Fampy, Fampy. Fampy. Yes. It's spelled like Famfy. And I love it so much. I want to just snuggle it. Mm -hmm. um, S tier all the way. Okay. And it's big boy form. I would like to ride. Uh, mm -hmm. It looks like an elephant that would go into battle. Um, so A. Okay. You know its name? Don Fan. All right. Let's see what I had to say. Next up, we've got Fampy. I like elephants and I like Fampy and she thinks Fampy's adorable. So I'm definitely saying A tier on Fampy for her and for me. I think she's going to do it even if it's just for me, but I think she's going A tier. Then we got Don Fan, slightly less cute elephant. So I'm going to go B tier on him. I think she's just, you know, like I said on a lot of them, we're going to be mad that it looks meaner. Nailed the reasoning. Messed up the rank. That's what the video needs to be called. <laughs> All right, give me the next, uh, let's go to the next two. Okay, um, this little poly, poly bird, mm -hmm. I don't know which one it is. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't really understand what's going on with this evolution chain yep. with these birds. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna put it in D tier because uh, I don't care to know. Um, and then we have a reindeer and I love reindeer, so A tier. Okay, getting name guesses? I know that's one that is poly something. Porygon. Porygon 2. Okay. And then Porygon C comes later. Yeah. And this one? Uh, reindeer face. Stantler. Yep. Let's see what I had to say about these two. Then we got Porygon 2. Porygon 2 is weird. I don't think she's going to like how round it is. I'm going C. I'm going meh tier. You know, C tier for that one for sure. Then we got Stantler. Stantler in this photo has a really weird butt. He does. Uh, C tier, <laughs> because it's got a weird butt. That, that's what I'm thinking. I don't think she's going to be excited about deer, anything like I that. I didn't think about reindeer, but you know what? Because I love Christmas. I don't even remember where I put pouring on to. Did I say D tier? No, you said C. Okay. All right, give me the next one. All right, uh, I have no idea what this thing is. Um, it's weird. It's like an acorn on its head mm -hmm. and like a leaf tail. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to put it in D because I don't know what's happening. Okay. What do you think his name is? I don't know. Smeargle. Uh, I, I was way off here. Let's see what I had to say. Then we got Smeargle. Smeargle can paint. Allison's super into coloring. Allison likes coloring a lot. She's going to identify with that. And if she realizes he's a dog, definite A tier. <laughs> definite A tier for Smeargle. I could not identify what was happening. He's thing. a dog and his tail's a paintbrush. <laughs> okay. I was sad. All right, go for the next two. Let's keep going. We're on the last row. All right. Um, this one is a chop fighter. Choo -choo. Um, dude, I don't like him because he's too humanoid, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna put him in D. Okay. I've never seen his counterpart, mm -hmm. but I'm just gonna put him in D also. Got any yeses on their name? Tough guy. It's Tyrogue and Hitmontop. I feel like I'm always, you... like, close. Like, I've heard it before, uh -huh. so I can, like, pull out a letter. Are you familiar with, uh, with Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee? Yes. They, uh, Tyrogue can evolve into any one of the three of them. Yes, I have him in Pokemon Go yep. and the two other forms. All right. Then we've got Tyrogue. Tyrogue looks like he's playing football, so she's probably not going to be that into it. Allison doesn't really care for sports. He's not particularly cute. He's in a weird sporty position. I'm going C. Then we got, Ty uh, not Tyrogue, Hitmontop. Hitmontop is, I don't know, she might like that he's a top. I'm, I'm still going Matt here. C. Definite C. Overlabeled him. Let's go for the next three. 
Okay, smooch him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you got it. That turns into a jinxie. Just jinx, but <laughs> close. Uh, C tier. Okay. Um, Electra Buzz. Electra Buzz is the middle. This one is not Electra Buzz. Uh, He's Ella C. Kid. Ella Kid. Ella Kid, Electra Buzz, Electivire. I'm just proud I named a Pokemon. You did good. This one? Magna. Mag. It falls into that one that we found at the river. Mm hmm. Um, Whole big nest of them. Yep. Magmar. That's the one he evolves to. Yep. This is Magby. Magby. Where do you want him to go? Um, we'll put him in B tier. These were the other three baby Pokemon. Ah. All right, let's see what I had to say about these three. Then we got Smoochum. She doesn't really care for Jinx either, I don't think. I don't. Mm, Smoochum's kind of, I'm going B for Smoochum. I think she'll, think it's cute enough, you know, identify with its own <laughs> hair. I think she'll like that. So I'm going B. Uh, Elekid, I, mm, indifferent, I think. I don't think she'll have any strong feelings one way or the other. We're going to go C on Elekid. Then we got Magby. I think Allison was really working for a Magmar at some point. I could be totally wrong on that, but I'm going to go for B tier on Magby. Nailed it. Sort of. Hey. <laughs> All right, let's go for the next two. Um, This one is a strange cow. Okay. Mm, it's cute, but it's also strange. So B. Okay. Then do we go on? Uh, let's just do this one for now. What do you okay. think its name is? Um... Milk gallon. Milk tank. Yep, that was really close. <laughs> All right. Stupidly close. Then we got Miltank. Miltank's a good Pokemon. Miltank is sturdy. Miltank is cute. Miltank's a cow, obviously. I think Allison will be like, you know what? Miltanks give me cheese. They give me milk. They give me all that stuff I like. I'm going with A tier for Miltank. That's a That's weird close. pick, but I'm going for I can't believe its name is Miltank. <laughs> what do you think of the next I one? I said milk gallon. <laughs> Milk Gallon Pokemon. <laughs> That's my favorite Pokemon. No, Milk Gallon. All right, give me the next one. Um, this one works in the Pokemon... Nurse? Poker Sitter. It is a Pokemon nurse. Um, so it's doing important work, but I don't like it, so mm -hmm. B. Okay, what do you think his name is? Mm -hmm. The Fairy. Uh, the original from the first game is um, Chansey. <laughs> this one is named Blissey. <laughs> All right, let's see what I had to say about Blissey. Then we got Blissey. Blissey is weird. I don't think Allison will know it's any different than Chansey necessarily, because it's a very similar design. And for that reason, I think she'll feel kind of indifferent about it and go C tier. But it does important work. So you gave it B. All right, let's do the next three together. Um, I got this one in Pokemon Go, and mm -hmm. you were like, oh, got from your you research. got this Liger? That's so cool. I really want one of those. And I was like, you can have it because I don't like anything <laughs> about it. Uh, D tier. I did not remember that last part. Right, um, let's go. And then this other part. Yeah, just put it down there with him. Both of these? Yeah. It's like his grandfather. Both of them? It's his grandfather and his grandmother. All right. Got their names? Um, Junior, Pops, Mima. Uh, It's Raikou. Entei and Suicune. I know they're all like legendary. They're the legendary dogs. They're all dogs. And you put them all in D. Um, <laughs> let's see what I had to say about these. Then we got Raikou. So the next three are dogs, but Raikou is, you know, more of a tiger. He's got the saber tooth kind of thing going on. I think she'll think it's all right and it's a four legged animal, so B tier. Then we've got Entei. Entei just looks soft. Entei looks like the kind of dog you would want to own. He looks protecting. I think she's going to like it a lot and go A tier on Entei. Then we got Suicune, who looks um, comforting, powerful, um, <laughs> kind of, um, all I can think of is the word ethereal. <laughs> Thank you, John But it's Legend. not ethereal. Just, just very suave. So I think she'll <laughs> like it. And uh, I'm going to go A tier. It might be a top B, but I'm going A. I did a terrible second. job with the dogs. I thought you would think at least one of them was a dog. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's do the next three together. You said ethereal. We've been watching too much yes, of the voice. Yes, shout out to John Legend. <laughs> let's go ahead and do the next three. All right. Um, we got six Pokemon to go. If you guys have made it this far into the video, we're coming up six minutes to an hour. It's probably going to be an hour long video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Definitely like it if you made it this far. 
and uh become my pokemon go friends <laughs> definitely let us know in the comments if you want to be pokemon go friends or what else because you guys are awesome let's go ahead and let's all right let's just jump into the last okay. six let's do three tycoon metapod and godzilla <laughs> metapod is not that's not metapod that's a pokemon though all right what do you think of them where, um, are, they, where are they going why uh b c d okay and because cute less cute not cute yeah okay uh it's tyranitar sorry tyranitar pupitar larvitar let's see what i had to say about them and then we got larvitar i don't think allison has a tyranitar i think she's been working on it for a long time so i think she might be kind of indifferent against larvitar and maybe even kind of resent it so i'm gonna go c tier pupitar i'm gonna also go c tier for the same reasons and tyranitar i'm going to go B tier, maybe just because she thinks it's cool, I right? Tier. Like it's powerful, it's good I Pokemon tier. Go. I think a lot of these opinions are going to be based on that because that's her association with these Pokemon. So I'm going B for Tyranitar. I was off. Okay. Didn't nail it. It's okay to be wrong sometimes. All right, let's do the next two together. Um, So these are birds, mm -hmm. legendary birds. It's like a snowflake bird. I'm going to put it in B tier. Okay. Yeah, it's like a fire bird. I'm going to put it in C tier. What are their names? I don't know. Lugia and Ho-Oh. See what I had to say about the uh, the parents of the legendary birds. Then you've got Lugia. Lugia's got the big hands in this picture, but Lugia is a cool bird. It's psychic. I think she likes it better than Ho-Ho. I'm going B. Or uh, Ho-Oh. Correcting myself I now. I do like it better I'm Going than B Ho -Ho. for Lugia. <laughs> then we got Ho-Oh. Correcting myself again. I think that Ho-Oh will be an indifferent Pokemon. Maybe not like the thing on its head, but I'm still going C, not quite D. I don't think she just likes the way it looks it. that much. Nailed those two. That's good. Let's finish strong. Let's go for the last one. What do you think of this last Pokemon? Tinkerbell B. Can you think about it a little more? Look at it. Look at it real hard. <laughs> she just left the camera. It's a leaf. Watch your head on the way back. All right. Any changes? A tier. What, right what do you think? What do you think its name is? Thefia. It is Celebi. Uh, it's it's celery. It's a celery fairy. Was uh, I supposed to be able to identify that? Let's see what I have. <laughs> Lastly, we have got Celebi. Celebi's super cool. I believe Allison knows it can time travel. It's a plant. Didn't know it's that. Cute. I'm going A. For Celebi. I think we'll round this list off with a nice A. Yo, at least I got the A right. I, I got it right. All right. So um, I'm going to take my headphones off. We don't need them anymore. I uh, I definitely, I, I, I don't feel like I did great. I don't feel like I did terrible. I feel like I'm very middle of the run, very B tier. I thought there would be a lot of B tiers and B tier is actually uh, the second smallest tier in this. But it's pretty evenly balanced. I mean, I don't know if you did that on purpose. I mean, B tier is just a really non-committal answer. Mm -hmm. So what did you? Uh, what do you think about how I did? What do you think overall? That was really fun. I would do that again. <laughs> do that for the other generation. Yeah, I just look at my S tier list and I'm like, yeah. Yeah. They're adorable. They're all S tiers. <laughs> all right, then. Well, I guess if you guys, like I said, if you enjoyed and you made it this far, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure to let us know down in the comments what you guys thought. If you disagreed, if you didn't, if, if you agreed, what'd you think? Do you want to see more? Um, and I, oh, it's possible this has been multiple videos. I might decide to break it up. And if I did, hope you guys enjoyed the series. And if I didn't, I hope you enjoyed the video. Allison and I will probably do another one of these. It'll probably take a year because that's how long it took for this one. Depends on how long quarantine lasts. That's true. Quarantine makes a difference. But until then, you guys stay safe. Have fun. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Bye.